Space changes your DNA. How do they know? Well, one of the astronauts has a twin. Uh, they sent him into space for uh, an extended period of time. This is Scott Kelly. Uh, you've seen him on commercials, you didn't know, but you did. Um, and he went and 7% of his DNA by the time he got back was different from the DNA of his twin who stayed on a planet called Earth. Kind of crazy, sounds like a science fiction movie, but thoughts five words or less. X-Files, please investigate. Science rules. Went to space, grew an arm. Mutants, it's crazy, he mutated. Yeah. yeah. Well, right? it's a yeah. small portion of his DNA, right? There's yeah, so a small portion did. What's crazy is that stress can actually alter your DNA. Um, radiation obviously breaks your DNA and then either it can repair itself correctly or it can repair itself differently and then your DNA has changed. So he's he's in space, no gravity, um, you know, oxygen isn't the same, the atmosphere isn't the same. That has a huge effect on all all the different like uh, biomechanic pathways that your body uses uh, to live basically. So his 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 body changed his DNA to basically live. <laughs> <laughs> so fast, oh Neil deGrasse Tyson, no, everybody. It's true. <laughs> his body changed his his own DNA right. to, to better live in space, which is insane. Sounds like fantastic. So he yeah. basically, so he adapted to his surroundings, which is not something that we should be remarkably surprised by. I'm right. sure they've tested that before, but what's new with this test is they were able to compare it to his twin's DNA and find yes. out that when he came back, it didn't fully adapt back to Earth's atmosphere, mm -hmm. and that change is likely, at least for now, permanent. It'd be interesting to do another follow-up study on his DNA mm -hmm. in like 10 or 15 years to see if it's readjusted again. But it just goes to show how adaptable the human body is. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy, they said he suffered from hypoxia, which is a deficient amount of oxygen in his tissues. And his telomeres, telomeres. Telomeres. Were, telomeres? <laughs> yeah. Wait, look at yeah, how bio over here. Let's just pull okay, the bio yes, major I know, I know a lot about it. Okay. Are you a bio Tel major? Yes, telomeres are, are the ends of your chromosomes and essentially, uh, scientists can use those if, if they're shorter, um, that's a way to tell that you're aging basically. So the shorter they are, the worse it is. Uh, but I think what's interesting in that is that they found that when he came back from space, they were actually longer. Yeah. And, and then, what? yeah. So what does that mean? He aged less. Aging secrets, I don't actually know what that means, but. Telomeres are, are a good way to, to gauge um, if, if your DNA is aging. So the fact that they were actually longer and then they shortened when he came back, that's really interesting. I don't know what the implications are, but. So he was an identical twin, right? Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Can, just, can you tell people work. the difference between fraternal and identical twins? Because I'm a fraternal twin. And people always say like, what's the well, difference? And I'm so tired of explaining it, so you explain it. No, honestly. Uh, you were too sick. I'm, I'm not sure, yeah, so fraternal is you share the same. Mm -hmm. Womb? Yeah, you share the same womb, but it's two different eggs. Yes. And then identical is an egg splits. And Which you have is the crazy. Same DNA. So fraternal, you don't have the, the right, same DNA. Right, we're two different people. Yeah. But identical, you have the exact same DNA. Which is crazy. Yes. It's like, oh, we there was this, usually it splits into two cells, but it's all still the baby mm -hmm. from the first like mm -hmm. egg. But this one's like, nope, get away. Oh, yeah. we like push too hard. I don't know how that Isn't happened. it fascinating? I, I always wanted an identical twin, but Why? then I'm like, because I always wonder if they'd be the exact she opposite. wanted to get I away know, with I, murder. I have identical <laughs> twin cousins, and I have something to tell you, they're a, the weirdest people ever, and like <laughs> oh, because he says watching. as he's just grabbing. <laughs> no, because there's like fluff there's in the air. But um, but you know the questions that they ask twins a lot is like, you know, if your brother eats a cheeseburger, do you taste it? Or if he gets hit That's by a car, would you feel They're it? They're messing with everyone. They're just like yeah. But I some, do. but no. Yeah, but there are some. Connection. There, I, I do think that some identical twins for sure have a connection. The question I have is. Let's say you each have identical twins. One of you gets to go to space. Would you want to go to space or stay on Earth? Stay on Earth. Really? I for sure would want to go. Well, I, duh, a little science no. kid over no, here. No, but just how how cool would it be to see Earth not from the ground and Hello. see how beautiful it is? I I, I feel like that would um, potentially help people understand how important it is to to keep the Earth like safe and good and clean. Agreed. But Columbia. Challenger, no thank you, <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> I went to like a space a museum, point. it was like one in, like one out of every five of our spaceships has blown well, up uh, or something. <laughs>